Hello friends, I'm Miss Grizzly Joyce Butli. Today I'm going to help you exploring the space. But before that, please sit properly, prepare your science 8 modules, papers and pen, and please listen carefully because you'll be going to answer some activities and assessment. Our topic for today is all about the comets, asteroids and meteors. In this lesson, you'll be able to first Understand the characteristics of comets, meteors, and asteroids. Second, compare and contrast the comets and asteroids using the Venn diagram. Third, value the importance of knowing these celestial objects. What are these pictures all about? Yes, you're right. These are celestial objects. The first picture indicates the asteroids. The second one is a comet. The third one is a meteor. So let's have activity number one. Since you already know the physical appearance of comets and asteroids, added by your ideas and learnings about these celestial objects, let's compare and contrast comets from asteroids. So on your paper, please draw a Venn diagram. On the left side, please put the comets and then you'll put the differences of comets from the asteroids. On the other side, you will put the differences of asteroids from the comets. And at the center, you will put the similarities of both comets and asteroids. I will give you one minute to answer the activity number one. The timer starts now. What you have learned from the activity number one? Yes. You learned about the similarities and differences of comets from asteroids. Here are the comparison of some characteristics of comets and asteroids in terms of origin, shape, size range of diameter in kilometer, their chemical composition, orbit, and orbital periods. Here are some of their similarities. First, they both orbit the sun. Second, some close to the earth or they are near earth object. Third, if they have no atmosphere. And the last, they are part of our solar system. What are comets and asteroids? Comets and asteroids are referred to by astronomers as near earth objects. Comets are icy bodies or objects while asteroids are rocky fragments. Comets and asteroids are remnants from the formation of our solar system 4.6 billion years ago. Comets and asteroids have irregular shapes and varied sizes. They both reflect light from the sun at varying amounts depending on the size and composition. Silicates are minerals which contain the minerals that contain the elements silicon, oxygen, and at least one metal, which is responsible for comets and asteroids to be able to reflect light. Comets and asteroids are both orbit the sun. Comets usually came from the Oort cloud, which is beyond our solar system, and a few from Kuiper Belt, which is just beyond the Neptune's orbit. Long period comets came from the Oort cloud while the short-period comets come from the Kuiper Belt. One of the famous comets of the 20th century is the Halley's Comet. This known as short-period comet, since it takes 75 to 79 years for Comet Halley to orbit the Sun. Take note that the long-period comets take 200 to 100 millions of years to complete their orbit around the Sun. What are asteroids? Asteroids are small bodies that orbit a larger object in space. 
but they are different from the moon of the planets. Asteroids can have carbon, stone, or metal in it. The orbit of an asteroid is more rounded and less elliptical than the orbit of a comet. Asteroids can be found in asteroid belt, in between the Mars and Jupiter. The asteroid series was discovered in 1801 by Giuseppe Piazze. It is the largest asteroid. What is a meteoroid? Where do you think they came from? Meteoroid is a broken up rock and test from either a comet, asteroid, the moon, or from Mars. While a meteor is a light phenomenon or a streak of light that occurs when a meteoroid burns up as it enters the Earth's atmosphere. A meteor is also called a shooting star, but the truth is a meteor is not a star at all. But when a rock fragment from the meteoroid survives and makes it to the ground, this space rock fragment is now called a meteorite. Here is an illustration of the sequence of meteoroid, meteor, and meteorite. When the rock fragments coming from either a comets or asteroids is in space, it is called a meteoroid. When that rock fragment enters the Earth's atmosphere, it is called a meteor. And when the meteor survives and enters the Earth's surface, it is now called a meteorite. I have here a video clip. Please watch this and take down notes of an important details. There is a vast amount of rock and debris floating around in space. Around 100 tons of it actually falls to Earth every day. You might have been lucky enough to have seen this happen as a shooting star. But do you know what a shooting star is? Is it a comet? Meteorite? Maybe an asteroid? Comet A comet, also called a dirty snowball, is essentially a ball of ice, rock and dust that orbits the Sun, ranging in size from around 1 km to 20 km. Astronomers believe they are leftovers from the early formation of the solar system that reside in one of two places on the very outskirts of the solar system the Kuiper Belt and the Oort Cloud. These two areas are made up of small icy bodies of frozen gas, such as methane, ammonia, nitrogen and water mixed with rock and dust. Occasionally, a comet's orbit will be altered by a gravitational tug of another large object or through a collision with another body that can send it into the inner solar system, sometimes even straight towards the Sun. As a comet starts to move closer to the Sun, it heats up and ice starts to evaporate and form a cloud around the nucleus, called the coma. Two tails form as well, the ion tail and the dust tail. The dust tail is made from the dust forming around the nucleus. It is being pushed by solar radiation from the Sun, following the orbit of the comet. The ion tail is generally blue, made of ionized gas and points directly away from the solar winds coming from the Sun. Asteroid Most asteroids are odd-shaped chunks of rock that orbit the Sun within the asteroid belt, which is between Mars and Jupiter. The asteroid belt is thought to be either leftover mass from a failed planet forming due to the close gravitational pull of Jupiter or the leftovers from a planet that broke up due to a collision. Sizes vary from 10 meters to 1,000 kilometers wide. Ceres is the largest we have ever found at 960 kilometers wide, which is about as wide as Texas and big enough to be classed as a dwarf planet. Some asteroids even have their own moons. Meteoroid Space debris smaller than 10 meters are called meteoroids. They can be as small as a grain of sand. They are usually bits of asteroids that have collided or leftover debris from a comet. When a meteoroid enters Earth's atmosphere, it will hurtle towards Earth as it starts to burn up completely, creating a trail of light due to the air resistance it encounters. This is called a meteor, or as we sometimes call them, shooting stars. When a rock is large enough to survive entry, it will end up hitting the Earth's surface, usually about the size of a pebble. 
It is then known as a meteorite. The largest ever found is a 3-meter-wide, 66-ton tablet-shaped meteorite found in Namibia that fell 80,000 years ago. Every year around mid-July through to mid-August, the Earth's orbit takes us through the dust and debris left behind by a comet. This is called the Persid Meteor Shower and creates an incredible display of shooting stars, with up to 80 shooting stars visible every hour. Check out our video on this if you are interested to hear more. What you have learned from the video? Yes, you've learned about more on comets, asteroids, and meteors. So, how do comets, asteroids, and meteorites influence life on Earth? Comets, asteroids, and meteors influence life on Earth in the ways that they show us what is out in space. By examining them, we can learn new elements and it can have a big impact on life on Earth. To test your understanding, please answer the assessment. I will be giving you 5 seconds to answer each number. Number 1. What is a meteor? Okay, you're correct. The answer is letter B. A piece of space rock burning up in the Earth's atmosphere. Number 2. What is an asteroid? The answer is letter C. A large rock that is orbiting the sun. Number 3. What is the asteroid belt? Yes, it's letter A, a ring of asteroids orbiting the sun. Number 4. Where is the asteroid belt? Yes, the correct answer is letter B. It is found between Mars and Jupiter. Number 5. Which of these space objects is the largest asteroid in the solar system? Yes, you're right. The correct answer is letter C, Ceres. Number 6. What is a space object called when it lands on Earth? Yes, the correct answer is letter B, a meteorite. Number 7. Which statement is true? The correct answer is letter B. Asteroids can be as small as cars or larger than mountains. Number 8. What are comets? Yes, the correct answer is letter B. It is a large ball of ice mixed with rocks and dust. Let's have number 9. What happens to a comet as it gets close to the sun? Yes, the correct answer is letter A. It forms long tails made of gas and dust. Let's have the last number, number 10. Which statement is true? Yes, you're right. Letter A. Comets are colder the far farther they get from the sun. Thank you for watching. Hope you learned something about comets, meteors, and asteroids.